Blake style of play, very physical. He can run, he can cover. He's multi-dimensional as a linebacker. Just have that understanding of what's going on before the play happens. There is something to be said for always being in the right place at the right time, and Blake is one of those guys. Obviously, he's a powerful guy, but he's always in the right place on the field, and if he gets you in his grasp, he's going to take you down. Blake's style of play is extremely aggressive, but it has the confidence behind it through all the film study that he puts in on the back end to make the explosive plays that he does. It's pretty awesome to watch. He's everything you want, just the attitude of, I'm going to beat you whether I have to go through you or around you. It was a tough decision choosing between Stanford and my hometown of Arizona. Blake went to high school at Canyon Del Oro, which is in Tucson, exactly where the University of Arizona is. We had season tickets for about eight years there, and so I'd be at every single game, and it was just a great atmosphere to kind of be in, and I always wanted to play in that atmosphere. Had they offered him early in the process, he may be playing for the Arizona Wildcats right now. But Mike Stoops, who was the coach at the time, was sort of unimpressed with his measurables and sort of passed on him. With any great athlete, if you're told that you can't do something, that this is too tough for you, that you're not going to make it, it's just going to push you more to want to improve people around. As I was going in my senior year, I went to the Stanford camp. A week later, Coach Shaw offered me a scholarship, and once that happened, my parents were like, Blake, if you do not pick Stanford, you're not coming home tonight. When I came here on my official visit, they were acting like I was already on the team. Seeing that, I was going to have a, a great group of guys around me that knew that Stanford was a choice. Coach Shaw's telling me that I have heavy hands. It's an honor to actually hear that. I've been working on that ever since I was a freshman here. The way we describe heavy hands is fighting off blocks, and it's something we try to hang our hat on. Doing little things from grip work and the sleds and doing all those type of things to work on my punch. Blake is honestly, in my opinion, the strongest guy on our team, and you can feel that strength even when he just puts his hand on your shoulder. Just all of a sudden, you get tapped, you're like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa we're good. I would like do random things with my hands to him, like just mess with him, and he'd just get so mad at me. He's like, you have such heavy hands. You can't be doing that because it hurts more than other people. And so I was just like, I never really realized that. I just go out there and use my hands, and somehow it works. Balls on three, one, two, three. I think of leadership as doing the right thing, going out there, working 100% on every single thing that you do, and showing the guys how to get the job done. Been a pleasant surprise as a senior. Stepped up in his leadership role, being a voice not only for the defense but the team. Blake is what we want all of our young guys to be, how he carries himself, how he approaches the game. His actions speak louder than anything he could ever say. Oregon State, he took over the half on defense and seemed to be making every tackle. There was a point in that game, right in the second half, where I just told my teammates, I was like, I'm taking over. This game's done. After the first half, we allowed 90-something rushing yards, and then the second half, we allowed zero rushing yards. He just decided that at that moment in that game, he was going to take over. He was going to play with his hair on fire and was not going to be denied. Just even sitting there on the bench after a three and out, just he's pumped up, he's ready to go, get me back out there. I worked hard during the offseason, did the extra things to kind of work on those weaknesses that I had, but this season's been greater than I expected. The honors and awards that, that Blake has been given and, and leading the Pac-12 in tackles is something that is kind of an afterthought. I'll ask him after a game, how many tackles did you get? Not enough. My thought process in this is just doing the right things, doing my job out there. If it gets me recognition, it's a bonus. The main goal is to win the Pac-12 championship and win whatever bowl game that we get. Blake's future is almost limitless. What I've seen him do over the past four years and how I've seen him grow has been exponential. Once he can dedicate all of his time, and it will be all of his time, to football, it's going to be something really special to watch. Blake, moving toward the NFL, has a very intriguing future. He could be a huge impact guy for an NFL defense. I've always wanted to be the best football player in the world. That's my main goal going the next 10 years, and if I can do that, it's, it's going to be awesome. <laughs>